Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I melted the last half of November. So these are some empties and some items I have not emptied yet. Candles, wax melts, galore. Uh, some of my favorite scents that I went through in the month or the second half of November. And I will start off with candles. I'll start off with the one candle I'm actually not done. This thing is just go, go, going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. It just doesn't stop. This was a throwback Thursday candle. This is Blue Basil by Root. And I had this going, my parents just left today and I pretty much had this going most evenings that we were home and it's still going, like the freaking Energizer Bunny that is. And look at the bubbles. Synonymous to Root Candles, I love the bubbles. It just, to me, think I think of uh, very luxe, very rich wax um, as there is beeswax in here so anyway I'm still burning this so this is the only candle I haven't finished yet but I will continue to burn it until it's done a lot of these candles already actually all of these candles already have some on a re review up on my can on my channel so some of these candles some of the melts are already up on my channel as a review in playlists below uh, listed and so on uh, this is one of the mold cider by root Right here, this is great. I, though well, this is an older travel tin, but I absolutely love the travel tins. I find that I get a really good scent throw from these little suckers, so I highly recommend the travel tins for sure. I received this from Root Candle and uh, to do a review, Juniper Rosewood. This was a powerful punch. This was a great, refreshing, like it's on the Seeking Balance collection, as you see in the sticker. There's already a review on my channel. On this one, it, again, it's a travel, no different, the same size as that last one I showed you. It is a wood wick, and it, oops, and it burned all the way to the bottom. All oh, right, I'm supposed to do this for Kim, ha. So Kim, Kim Hart's organizing. She was asking, she's like, hey, I love, it's just her, like, I totally get it, because I love it when she does it in her videos. You just sort of stack items and show people what you've gone through, so, but I, I will do my best. Oh yes, and I have Christmas music going on in the background. I can't remember if I just told you that or not. And I'll try to keep this in frame as best I can. <coughs> my friend Ramona sent me this candle. Oh my God, it was amazing. And I'm, I've been melting it since I put my tree up. Sparingly, of course. It is DW Holmes 3 Wick Candle and Peppermint Bark. This was my, my number one candle from 2016. Yeah, and it says 26 hours burn time, but we all know, I've said this many times, DW Home Candles add 30% more time to each and every single stamped time that's right here. Add more time to it. This has this burn, burn really well. I, it, it tunneled a little bit on the side, but you guys, this is so, so good. If I can find it, I will repurchase it, but this was a beautiful gift from a great friend. So thank you, Ramona. And then this was the other candle that Root candle company sent to me for review unfortunately i've had two videos on this technically so i'm not going to go into detail except to say that i love the scent on cold this hazelnut latte on cold smell amazing but when warmed i got zero throw and they are aware of that <clears throat> i love the lids on these they are aware of that and they uh, asked me to take a snapshot of the bottom of the sticker so they can maybe take a look at what's Maybe they had a production issue, I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the melts I didn't finish next. And let's see here. <coughs> okay, so the night my parents arrived, I melted one of my favorites. Now it does well for me in my house and my warmers, but I melted two cubes of Beauty and the Beast. And what I did is I just melted one cube in each one of my warmers in the great room because this is one of my favorite scents and it was a special occasion. My parents were coming for a visit. So I wanted the house, the house to smell absolutely amazing when they arrive. And something that I've been blending, this is Make Sense Candles from Canada. This is a Canadian company in Olive Branch. These are the like their little tiny bunts. And then I have these mustache pieces from, uh, well, it was Wellness, now it's the Smell Good Shop in barbershop. So what I do is I take half of the mustache and one of these olive branch and put them together. It's a fantastic combination. I really enjoy that a lot. Mandala Melts, also Canadian company. I've been chopping up and I will pass this, I will put this in my next month's basket as well. Um, I don't know if it made it into the video, but it will be in the basket still. It's Jasmine and the scent notes are lavender and laundry. 
so I really like this. It did really well. It's very strong. I definitely get more of the laundry than the lavender. And then we have Hello Gorgeous Bergamot Peppermint Pink Sugar and Lavender. This is Rose Girls. I love this scent. I'm thinking I might sneak it into the milking basket uh, for, uh, for, what am I saying, for December. Oh my gosh, oh, brain fart. Uh, then I have this coconut cream pink sugar lavender field. These are this is a loaf. Just I, um, this is about uh, about half of a loaf that I made. I really like it. So it's coconut cream pink sugar. Uh, what is it? So it's coconut. Okay, it's pink sugar chunks, lavender field chunks, coconut cream overpour. That's how I did it. I really like this one in my bedroom, and I'm I really love it. So I have lots and lots of it. And then we have here from Rainbow Mounts, Vanilla Tobacco, which is warm vanilla and fresh pipe tobacco. This was really good. Um, I actually, it's not like the tobacco vanilla candle. Not at all. It's actually more sweet, like a real sweet vanilla um, tobacco. Again, I get more of the vanilla than the pipe tobacco. I really like this though. I thought it was really nice. <clears throat> And then I'm going to try, oh, of course it pops back up. Um, I'm going to put this back in my melting basket uh, for December. I love this mocha latte swirl for the weekend. Um, any coffee scents on, on the weekends I have, or on my days off, and in the month of December, I'm off quite a bit. So I will be melting more of that. I really like that. And what that was, I should say too, that the Bath & Body Works mocha latte swirl was a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works where you chunk up and you get all of a sudden 14 and a half ounces of your like beloved candle that half the time they don't make again right so I love that I think it's great I love being able to do that so and then on no particular order I'm going to just try to get the bags first and then we'll deal with the rest <coughs> I went through and I really like this it was a nice change. It was the Jazz Singer. I ended up buying two bags of these in the my last order with her, which was technically on the 1st of April, but I received on the 19th. Sorry, hiccups. Sassy Girl Aroma. This was really, really good. I highly recommend it. It was very like bubbly, effervescent, fruity, like berries. I just really enjoyed it, but I probably won't be repurchasing it. And then my friend sent me vanilla custard toasted pistachio honey almond sugar cookies from Sassy Girl Roma. And as you can see, there should be a note here. And this was very good. It was very strong. I will say with me and pistachio, I generally get more cherry than I get pistachio nut. Um, but it was very nice and it threw very well. So I, my friend, my friend in Florida, you um, thank you very much for this. And it was very, very nice. <clears throat> I was very sad to see this one go. White Clouds by uh, the Glitterati Candle Company. If I ever, 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 ever got to make it onto a customs list of some kind, I would make, I would get this in a loaf. A tiny little bit goes a long way. This is probably the strongest Glitterati Candle Company scent I have received or purchased. I should say purchased. I have purchased all of my 3D stashes um, that I've tried thus far. It was fantastic. Um, and it was from May 2017. Man, this was good. And I exclusively melted this in my bathroom and it threw mama out of the house, but in such a good way. It was so nice. I went through a cookie butter crack from Make Sense Candle Company. Went through one fluted tart. I gave the other fluted tart to my mom. This was actually pretty strong, I will say. This is from, I received it back in May. This was, it did actually better than most of the Make Sense Candle uh, melts that I've had so far. But I did enjoy this. Very sweet, but not ooey gooey sweet. It was more of a bakery sweet. Very nice. Oh, another one I'm sad to see go. Chunk. It's a chunklet bag. Pink, pink berry and tonka bean with sweet milk overpour. This was so good, you guys. <laughs> it threw really well. It was so cohesive with pretty much anything I melted out. I melted this exclusively in my bedroom. So it did kind of crawl out of the bedroom and into like the the great room and I was like oh but it was very cohesive and it worked very well and I really enjoy this for bed <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys 
Um, I went through uh, Tiffany's pumpkin pie spice. Strong, strong, strong. This was a sample. This is very strong. <laughs> um, but I am so over pumpkin now. And uh, I've only got a few more melts that have pumpkin in it. But uh, I think I'm going to take a break from pumpkin. Uh, but it was very strong. Met, um, Mandala Melt Stitch. And this is described as blackberry jam and sugar cookies. This is wonderful. I would get a loaf of this too. Um, it's just it's just as it states in here. It's blackberry jam and sugar cookies. Not one over the other when melting stood out. They were both equally distributed in my home as scent notes. I really enjoyed it and would definitely repurchase. My friend Beth sent me uh, fresh raspberry from L3 Waxy Wonders. Now this one threw like crazy. It was a little heart shape melt it through like crazy but um i don't know i like some raspberries i find raspberry and pomegranates very difficult for me i don't know how else to say it um they're hit or miss for me i don't know if i would purchase this one myself but i liked it and i wonder if the fresh raspberry with like a cream like an ice cream vanilla bean kind of scent would go really well together too and she also sent me mouse ears which Thank you so much. It is so hard to get mouse ears. I have successfully purchased a super pan in strictly mouse ears with the most latest, uh, with the latest pre-order for super pans. I got an entire bam, bam, I got an entire super pan of this because first of all, it is so hard to get your hands on even when she restocks it on Super Tart's website, but also to um, it's a great blender as well. So I figured a super pan and it's awesome. And then I can share it as well. Sleepy head by rainbow melts. Love, 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 loved it. Sweet lavender vanilla with hints of soothing mint. Had this in my bedroom. Absolutely loved this. Would, I would buy a lot of that one too. And then we have from vintage chic Sense five families won't go hungry. Sugar cookies, whipped cream, birthday cake, vanilla wafers, cannolis, marshmallow zucchini bread why do I keep forgetting what WB is oh I always forget um let me sell this one um this one was okay it was a medium throw it wasn't like super super strong in my in my home um this was poured in March of this year but that was nice uh this one I finished which is from poured in October 2016 cider lane birthday cake vanilla bean noel this is quite nice um, actually more enjoyable than I thought because, you know, I think Cider Lane, I think ooey gooey sweet. Um, the, I think the birthday cake and the vanilla bean Noel really toned it down. Okay, let's get into some clams here. I'm just going to bring the chair close by. I really enjoyed this one in every part of my home. So I had, like, because it's a dual, this is a duo here and it's half winter cuddle and frosted mint like a flannel and a mint, I guess is what you could say. This was great and I melted cubes in both more, in my warmers and my great room, but I also saved one cube of each to go in my bathroom and I really enjoyed it in my bathroom too. So would I, re would I repurchase if I could, cause this is a United States only, like this is from the US, friends of mine sent that to me. Um, I would probably next year just buy one clam and that would, that would be good. So that is nice. Scentsy's Hazelnut Latte, I have a review on my channel on this. It wasn't, the greatest but it wasn't the worst it was one of my top of my hazel or yeah my hazelnut latte wax melt off it did well um i found out during that during that video and during those reviews that hazelnut latte on some some vendors feel like it's very very sweet whereas i think hazelnut hazelnut and latte which is like espresso but um, I, I was gifted this and it was very, very nice, but I probably wouldn't purchase it myself. I did find a favorite already, which we will talk about down here as we get through it. All right, let's just pull the next one. The Mist. Okay, so here's the thing with The Mist and me. I know it's super popular and it is. It's Ocean Water Storms Rain and Rosemary Mint. I didn't get as much Rosemary Mint when warmed as, as much as I wished. And to be perfectly honest with you, it was okay. Um, I melted this exclusively in my bathroom because I th those are the type of scents that I would put in my bathroom. But I would not repurchase. And I know I bought another clam, but I destashed it a little while ago. So um, it's just not my thing. I have other, like I say, I have other melts that I quite enjoy 
more in my bathroom than that one. This one was part of that hazelnut latte wax melt off. This was too sweet for me. It was just ooey gooey sweet. It actually lost all the hazelnut and very little coffee. Like it really wasn't a whole lot in its title. To me, it was very sweet. Um, but you know, lots of people will like that too. And then this one was a gift from my friend. This is from the company Fandoms Fairy Tales dot etsy dot com courage and bravery this was actually really nice i really enjoy the combination of black tea and current i got a little bit more current than black tea when warmed but this was lovely i would say medium to medium high throw i really enjoyed it i got this as a like i say as a gift so um if you're ever on that website i don't even know if she's in business let's see if i can get a focus there you go fandoms fairy tales dot etsy dot com there you go Okay, a couple more clams and then we just got a few cups. So then there was marsh or pumpkin marshmallow cream, which is awesome. This is like the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle from Bath and Body Works. It's ooey gooey, but not too ooey gooey. Um, more of the vanilla with a little bit of spice behind it and a tiny little bakery. I, I actually enjoy this. I do have backups of this. Uh, very much recommend that if you can still find it in the US only, of course. Another one, banana pumpkin bread. Let me see, there was a couple that, this one was a bit too spicy for me again. There was just too much, there was, you can see there's little bits of pecans back there. And I do get like there's a little bit of a nutty note to it, um, but a little more on the spice notes that I'm not as much a fan of myself. So I don't know if I can do that one again. Uh, hazelnut cream wax cubes this was super strong but i had to turn it off it didn't smell anything like a hazelnut cream again like or even like a coffee a hazelnut coffee none of that it was so sweet and ooey gooey and the it was really tough to get these six tiny little wax melts out to you so it's a bit annoying but um i really again thank you to my friend who sent that to me but i found some favorites when it came to like hazelnut lattes and things like that so yeah anyway we'll get on to some other wax melts here and then we'll be done and i can let you go thanks for coming by anyway though <laughs> love spell my friend gave this to me because she's probably i don't think i don't know if she really really loved love spell as much as i do i love this so i split it in half and use it in a couple different warmers throw it is amazing it's like a 10 love spell is just is the dupe from victoria's secret so there's that <clears throat> Destination Wax Tonic and Destination Wax Black and Black. So I, I received both of these from my friend. Let me just, okay, there's that one. That one reminds me of something. Okay, first of all, this was super awesome, fresh, and I melted, I halved it and melted it in my bathroom. This was beautiful and fresh. It actually threw really well. As I've said before, I'm not a big fan of Destin, Destination Wax fold over bags. That's, I had a, unfortunately I had a bad experience, I guess, if you will. But I've always stood by the fact that their cups, these cups here, do throw a lot better than those bags, probably because the bags aren't like completely sealed. Um, they were not the, like the Ziploc style. They were literally the fold over sticky ones. This reminds me of something in my childhood, but it's more of a cologne. It's like a perfume that I remember when I was a kid, but I don't know what it is, but. Um, it was nice, but I would probably repurchase tonic, or not repurchase, I would probably purchase tonic before I would purchase black and black. And then we have, let me see, we have a bunch of uh, sugar and spice soy candle. And first of all, the throw is a 10. Second of all, less is more. I, I'm saying this for sugar and spice gourmet soy candles in general. This was espresso, haze, sorry, espresso, or sorry, hazelnut espresso. This was the winner, winner chicken dinner when it came to my wax melt off for hazelnut latte scents. This was exactly how it states, hazelnut and espresso, i.e. coffee. This was the best one of that entire wax melt off. I would repurchase that and highly recommend that. And actually highly I recommend any of my um, sugar and spice. This is the vanilla lavender. I put this in my bedroom. I put it, my bedroom melter is quite large, so I halved it. Um, this is beautiful. It was a sweet lavender with the vanilla. It was very soothing, very comforting, very nice. 
And then the last one from Sugar and Spice is Peppermint Lavender Marshmallow. This was really good, you guys. Again, just a beautiful, sweet, soothing, comforting scent that many people, I'm sure, would absolutely love. That. <clears throat> London Fog from Candy Panda, which a London Fog is a drink, if you're not aware. And it is Creamy Vanilla, vanilla Earl Grey Tea. Um... I found this to be no different, and I'll actually talk about the next one too in a sec, but I have two candy pandas. Every candy panda that I've ever had throws magnificent for the first like three hours. Sorry, I'm trying to get it focused. Uh, focused. Um, three hours, and then I get nothing. So it throws really, really well, and then poof, down. I don't know what happens, right? So this one's Old Statues. This is Mahogany, Blood Orange, Cognac, Patchouli, Musk, or Must. And I think it's supposed to be musk and vanilla. I didn't. I actually don't remember this one at all. No, I don't even remember this one at all. So I, it was not memorable. But my experience with candy pan is that always that you get a great throw at the beginning and then it just dies down. And the last wax melt. Here is sweet potato pie, which is part of a Throwback Thursday, so it has its own review already on the channel. Uh, this was very strong. I cut it up in four pieces. It did very well. A little bit, a little more on the spicy side, but um, this was a gift. This was gifted to me, so it was as far as my collection. It was a year old, so I'm happy to have melted it, but it did very well. So you guys, that is. Let's see here. That is what I've melted for the second half of November 2017. So guys, as always, be safe, have fun, take care, and again, thanks for joining me.